Man, I really did go and think to myself, wow, maybe I can finally start doing zero tier lists not at the end of the month like I did last month, and turns out that was a one-time thing. Hello and welcome everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at the final set of Link Joker tier lists. So this is basically the final seat, like set where Limit Break is actually supported. After this, it goes to Legion, and then after that, it goes to Strides. And so there will still be, as I said before, like Limit Break support printed, but it won't be the main focus anymore as it has been these last nine months. And so... We're going to switch on over to this, and so this will be our tier list that we're going to take a look at today. Of course, there are visually only two new additions, but of course there are some older archetypes that got supported in this set, so you can kind of see them over here. First, as usual, let's take a look at some of the Japanese websites and see what they are saying. So here we have the Game With one. So they say that tier one is two different types of liberators. One is Zenith Focus, and the other one is the Monarch Sanctuary Alfred Focus. And then after that, it's Pale Moon. So that's, you know, these two decks are the ones that got nerfed actually in, you know, or are supposed to get nerfed in May, but then the Pale Moon one is being delayed to whenever, I guess. But, you know, the Liberator hit is going to be, you know, them losing Wingle Liberator in the sense that it's going to have a extra Kennel Boss cost rather than being free. And then tier two is Revengers, Novell, uh, Grand Azel Scissors, Overlord Reverse, uh, Drag Ruler Focus Revengers, Chaos, uh, or just Star Raiders in general, Ash Reverse, Dauntless, and Glendios. So, you know, great, you know, tier three goes on and on and on and on, but this is a pretty varied tier two, you know, the, as usual, the meta is pretty diverse. And then from Gamebox, this is their updated tier list. Their tier one is Liberators, but they use Garmore as the cover picture. I'm not really sure why, because this definitely isn't as a four of anymore in some of the deck lists. Uh, then of course, Silverthorns at the top and Dauntless the end. So their tier one is a lot smaller. Their tier two, however, is Starvaders, Revengers, Glendios, uh, Jewel Knights, Blaus. That's something that they consider pretty highly. Uh, Maelstrom and Eradicators. So some of these I agree with, some of these I don't. So those are their opinions here as well. All right, so now we can get into mine. Of course, also those of you watching, apparently there's 35% of y'all that aren't subscribed. So if you do like this kind of content and you want to support me in what I do, then I would appreciate a sub as well. But without any further ado, let's get into the actual tier list. Now, I feel like doing something a little bit different, a little bit special for this month, purely because it is, you know, a the final set of the Link Joker season. And I'm going to time myself i'm gonna do a speed run of how fast i can put everything into its own categories and then i'll explain it afterwards so for those of you that like to skip through these and you know like just quickly take a look at what it is at the end i'm doing you a favor here all right so all right three two one speed run start it did not start start okay here we go all right so uh this high effort it's actually pretty good so maybe highly competitive but it hasn't been played very much so highly competitive for now uh in tournaments highly competitive dayusha rush i guess is pretty pretty still pretty competitive uh the end definitely best deck mlb can be over here somewhere or like over here pbo somewhere here you know what let's no i guess these decks are still pretty good especially after support comes uh this is pretty good reiji definitely is got kind of screwed over uh this is fine but nobody really plays it this is good but it definitely dropped uh this is still fine it's pretty highly competitive uh this feels like it kind of hurts uh this one i guess it's pretty good uh yes Yes, definitely up here. Uh, Blouse are better. Novelle definitely still up here. Yeah, I guess so. Definitely up here as well. Uh, yeah, kind of struggling. Uh, drop because Liberators everywhere. Uh, yes, Dykeyser focus. Uh, Tetra Drive is, I guess, it's still pretty good. Let me be over here. Blouse, yes, up here. Uh, Elvira, you're kind of struggling to be honest. Uh, Azel, highly competitive. Uh, uh, Dauntless, highly competitive. Uh, this pretty close to tier one, I guess. Uh, this seems good still. Nobody really plays it though. This also is good. This is also still good. This is best deck. Uh, this is not so good. This is pretty good. This is also very good. And this is uh, pretty decent. Okay, 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 time. All right. The record is 1 minute 28. Wow, that was, you know, actually longer than I expected. I thought I could speed run faster than that. Okay, now let's review and put these into their right places. So, uh, in terms of best decks, I think th this is actually correct. Um, Liberators, as you, if you've watched any deck and fight over the last month or so, you know, from set 17, you'll notice that Liberators are literally everywhere. Uh, then, of course, you know, Kagero, the Overlord focused deck with the Break Ride and Rebirth and stuff is also really, really good. Novell is also really, really good. Uh, Silverthorns arguably are like up here. People consider it to be still one of the best. And Revengers, I mean, got Drag Ruler and a lot of really good like supporting grade twos and ones. So 
that's also pretty good. Uh, then in terms of like the highly competitive stuff, it's honestly a lot. Like a lot of stuff is really good to bring. Uh, even like stuff like this, I guess, is technically yeah it is it is also highly competitive um it's like i guess mostly this kind of stuff that is feeling worse now like nobody plays reiji this actually is played by like dotto i think all the time on ladder or at least it was um so let's try to organize this why did chaos drop well that's because this thing unlocks and therefore chaos kind of sucks against that matchup against anything else it's still great but when everything you play against in ladder is liberators then tough luck uh, same goes for Glendios, and it's honestly quite clunky as well, which kind of hurts. But I think Chaos is still very good because it's good against everything else that isn't Liberators. So once that calms down and like we go into Legion and stuff, then I think Chaos will probably come back up a little bit as well. Uh, Eradicators already were dropping last month, and I didn't get any support, so that kind of you know that makes sense. Like these three decks basically are like the same in terms of like power level. Same goes for Dauntless. This deck surprised me; it was actually really popular for a bit, and then it kind of dropped off. But it's still very very good. I think there's some old decks. Here here that definitely could go down a little bit um so like for example so give me still obviously like topping tournaments even to this day blows are pretty damn decent actually like they definitely are probably the best nova archetype for the time being still uh mlb is still out here like you still run into an mlb every now and again like it's actually going to come back i think with think saver because that's a really easy way to set up the big soul to do double think saver in one turn so look out for that i guess uh, minerva definitely feels still very good um just like still top sometimes too so i think it's actually pretty damn decent um so it definitely deserves being at a highly competitive duos in my opinion don't really do much i don't know like pacifica i think did more if i'm being honest than duos um duos just have a restand and it's really hard to set up and it's like the hand limit in zero kind of hurts it the most if anything like it didn't need to get nerfed when like the hand limit in zero is the biggest nerf you can have as a duo player um sanctuary of light is still fine I, I actually run into it every now and again this is like literally shiroyasha on their own is carrying this deck i don't know like i don't play global anymore but i know from people that play against shiroyasha that they like to play that like mordred pbo deck quite a lot and i have other people that i know that play mordred pbo and still do pretty well and i do run into it in jp ladder sometimes even in this set so i feel like it's still pretty highly competitive which is pretty crazy to me battle sisters is being played like picked up by a lot of players all of a sudden because they realized it's like pretty good you know just because it's like high power Power, high draw like you know consistent attacks like it's just a really nice consistent solid deck that doesn't really require too much like strategizing or planning tetra drive is fine it isn't played that much like honestly i barely ever run into it but i think it's still think it's a fine deck maybe it's a bit lower than that um maelstrom is just easier to set up i guess and that's why it's a lot more popular um so yeah i think it's maybe like somewhere around here uh, you know, Shura is fine, honestly, even with a nerf, it's still a fine deck, but nobody plays it. That's kind of, a lot of these decks are just, like, underrepresented, uh, so that's kind of the issue there. Pure Deck Kaiser already talked about last time, doesn't feel that good. Ragey feels like it really dipped. Uh, Polaris just doesn't really, like, Great Nature in general doesn't really do that much, but once Chat Noir, uh, not Chat Noir, when the Tester Fox Legion comes out next month, I think this will change things quite a lot. So I think next month I'll have to rework this and kind of start taking things out because some of these decks are definitely not very common in ladder anymore uh mangatsu is like just not popping up at all like these decks are just never ever ever popping up and they feel like they don't really do too much angels will get really good support so i can see celestials going up next month because they got like really really good cards coming into this as well amon is fine but again it's it's it feels like reiji is a bit better and even that's like not that good uh this oh my god this that really disappointed me this popped up i know this is coming in global like next week or whatever this saturday i guess but man this is like eradicator support that just doesn't feel like eradicator support doesn't really do much ethics definitely is just like kind of sad the deck needs so much setup and other nova decks just do what it does so much better with so much less setup and it's just kind of sad honestly uh nubatama is always its own enemy because it's like sure you nuke your opponent's hand but you're also nuking your own stuff because you don't really have anything that pluses so that kind of hurts and neonectar isn't really doing too much people at first tried to play it as like some kind of like gauntlet buster-esque deck and then it hasn't really done much since then so a little bit unfortunate but yeah i actually kind of wrapped up this month's tier list pretty quickly maybe the speedrun strat is actually pretty legit so in conclusion this meta is still very very varied and like all these decks still pop up a fair bit like everything in the first two like tiers i guess still pops up very much um i think that the only problem is that like they all pop up here and there but above all else the deck that comes up the most is liberators the two types of liberators are always there and in my opinion they're by far the best deck like these decks do everything and it just 
it feels pretty bad because they really do do everything and like if you don't like that then too bad right it, it just kind of sucks in that sense so while the meta is varied and you can bring any of these decks to ranked or to a tournament and do really well it's just a little bit boring to play this month i hope it's not the same when this set comes to english but it's kind of boring to play compared to how it used to be like in the previous months it's like sure there's like no link joker now because the liberators like suppressed them all but the sad part is that like you know it's just part of the fun in zero to me is playing my own deck but the other side of the fun is playing against what my opponent plays and like having varied opponents and playing against a variety of things and like seeing all kinds of cool strategies and when i you know turn on ladder and like play maybe like five games a day and like four out of five games are liberators it's just a little bit like mm, I really hope like I'm just kind of waiting for Legion at this point honestly and that's kind of the reason why the zero content for set 17 has been kind of slow just because it's been like I've been really enjoying this deck in particular and it's been like carrying my fun which is this overlord deck but apart from that like everything else just like oh liberators 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 so it's just like that it's not a one deck meta or anything but you know as you can see the meta is definitely pretty varied in my opinion but at the same time it's just like not as great as it could be and so i hope that with legion that kind of changes but yeah so this was today's or this month's uh tier list so hopefully you guys enjoyed it i think it still paints a pretty good picture of what the meta is and of course like the gap between best decks and highly competitive is not that big but there are some really really tough matchups for some decks like for any link to deck to play against liberators is just really really rough but yeah so that's the current meta the current state of things in vanguard zero in set 17 so look forward to playing this in like three months i guess in uh global but if you're in jp then that's the end of the month right now so look forward to legion but anyway that's it for today hope you guys enjoyed today's video and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye <music>